Rajab, the facility is owned by the Department of Energy, is undergoing a multi-billion dollar cleanup. Her employer denies a woman's firing was tied to her ongoing complaints about safety concerns. But as Carter Evans reports, she believes it does send an ominous message. As a worker for URS right now, do you feel that you're wearing a target, essentially? Absolutely. Until yesterday, Donna Bushy was the manager of environmental and nuclear safety at the Hanford Nuclear Reservation. We interviewed her in October after one of her colleagues was also fired. They had raised concerns about the $13 billion cleanup of this treatment facility in southeastern Washington state. There are currently 53 million gallons of nuclear waste held in 177 underground storage tanks. Many have leaked radioactive material into the ground. We raised technical issues and have received harassment, retaliation. But the fact that he was terminated, uh, it, it sent a resounding message to me, right, and uh, heightened my sense of awareness that I was probably next. She was next. Late Tuesday, her employer, a Hanford cleanup subcontractor, issued this statement. Though URS supports Ms. Bushy's right to raise concerns and to express her personal views, we do not agree with her assertions that she suffered retaliation or was otherwise treated unfairly. Ms. Bushy's employment was terminated due to issues unrelated to her purported concerns. We spoke with Bushy via Skype. URS gave me no reasons for my termination other than un unprofessional conduct. Um, they gave me no documentation. They gave me no explanation. Her colleague, fellow safety official Walter Tamasitis, was fired in October. Both he and Bushy had been outspoken about dangers at the plant. Among their biggest concerns is a design flaw they claim could lead to a deadly hydrogen explosion, or worse, a nuclear chain reaction. Bushy says their firings will have a chilling effect on anyone else who raises safety concerns at Hanford. One of my subor my previous subordinates, it says that they're actually afraid of getting fired for doing their job. For CBS This Morning, Carter Evans, Los Angeles.